All right, welcome back to Exposed News TV. Welcome back uh, to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back update and information. Uh, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, don't forget to like. Happy Sunday. Uh, today is another day in the month of September. September month. Today is 24th of September. Sunday morning. Eh, kachine ke wolo gono gondo na ruisi ke no dimma eh, walo goji gibo yane ge monte eh, unga me kwi kari you to the go for the information we be say na yin kari mi enter your domoto government dom by 19 in imo state and also in an ambara security agents in seven months ms dsf bags afema awardo I don't share that this is the record of the matter where we say they happen for Biafra land mm, in Imo State and Anambra State where government don't send about 19 people to judgment and in Anambra they have sent seven people uh, to judgment within the space of seven months. Um, that's why uh, when you wake up in the morning, try to pray to your God and say, God, I beg you. Uh, no allow them see me oh, because these bad bad people will be sitting they walk around uh, who knows who is going to be the next but chukwa kikabiyama uh, we carry us come for this world that man he no go disappoint us uh, make we go they say government kills 19 in emo and Ambara security agents in seven months not fewer than 19 security agents have been killed by government in different areas in emo and Anambra state between March and September 2023, findings by Saturday Punch has revealed. The attacks were carried out without any known period provocation or exchange of gunfire between the security agents and the gunmen. It was learned that of the 19 killings, two police officers were killed in Anambra during an attack on a United States envoy in May. On September 19th, about eight security agents were killed in Omoa Lomako community, a Himembano local government in Imo State. The victims, comprising of officers of different security agencies, were in their patrol vehicles when they were killed and their bodies set ablaze by the government. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is what is currently happening now. This one just happened um, uh, recently. Uh, in the southeastern part of Nigeria, Biafra uh, land to be precise. Meanwhile, let's go to another information where you see waiting a uh, chief, Iwanya, the president of Hanes and Dibo, they talk uh, concerning the killings where we say they go on uh, for Imo State. He uh, say, I am tired of death of my children, Iwanya, on violence in the southeast. Now, the, uh, the uh, chairman of Ohanes and Debo, and I in the talk this one, he's saying, Don't they tired for the death of his children? Uh, but I think, um, I don't think that Iwana would say that he do not know what is uh, causing uh, the death of people in Imo State because, um, these people have been demanding, saying, uh, Release mass in Nam the Khan so that we can know who is who. So I think that the best step for Iwana and his men to take. Is first of all by uh, approaching uh, approaching uh, the, the federal government, Tinubu's government, and demand the immediate release of Mazen Nanikan. It's not an issue of side talk. You know, there is what is called political talks that, you know, you speak 10,000 words without somebody holding you accountable of any word. That's, you know, speaking in a political terms. But there is this another way of speaking emphatically, making your point known to the people. So I think um, for Iwanya was saying that um, he is tired of the death of his children. If he actually says that Ndibo are his children, the Biafran are his children, he should remember that one of the causes of what is happening is because of one of his child, Mazina the Kano, that is in the DSS detention. I don't think, um, you know, uh, some of these things cool off uh, sometimes. Uh, you find out the issue of the case, issue of Mazen and kind of fizzling out from, from the society, people forgetting that someone somewhere uh, who have some time ago have spoken uh, for the freedom of the people, for the betterment of the nation, for a better society and for a better life.
for his people is somewhere there in the DSS dungeon, being held in darkness where he is not seeing the sunlight and the beautiful rains of this world. So I think um, uh, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang should direct his attention to that direction. And if he will be able to do that, I tell you that the, 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 the insecurity in the southeast is going to subside. Uh, because once Mazin and the Kano is released, I think um, he, they will be able to know who is who, who is doing what. Uh, because as it stands now, uh, some hoodlums can come out and say, ah, we are indigenous people of Biafra, uh, we are fighting that our leader be released. Others can say we are autopilot and the rest of them. Without knowing, is this autopilot that is carrying out this operation? Is this IPOB that is carrying out this operation? Is it ESN that is carrying out this operation? Uh, who is is it BNG? Is it BL, BLA Biafra Liberation Army? Are they the ones carrying out this operation? Why is the operation? What is their reason? And uh, many, many, many uh, 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 academians, many, many wise men have, you know, written to the federal gov have written to the federal government and the southeastern governors to come together. What they need to do, what they need is synergy. It's what is called synergy, coming together to do things. It's not just that um, uh, Soludo, uh, we come we come out and say, okay, let me go and visit in and they cannot let Ndibo know, say, I am working. You know. Most of them do this thing so that people will think that uh, they have the interest of the Igbos have heart, at heart because they know that uh, Mazin and the Kano is this kind of person that once you get affiliated with uh, Ndibo, we support you. The winning of Soludo when he contested for election was as a result of Mazin and the Kano. I think the, the Soludo's victory should be accredited to MNK. Yes, because during that season, uh, Anambra State was in a big chaos. But because um, these people felt that, okay, Soludo is speaking for Nam De Kano, and he's also a member of Apuga, and Apuga is Ojuku's party, and these people subsided all the chaos and made sure that uh, election in Anambra State that year was free and fair election. And many people did not believe that. Uh, uh, many people did not believe that Soludo. Oh no! Many people did not believe that Anambra State election was going to go in peace. Even said uh, there was much peace in Anambra State during Soludo's election than that of uh, 2023 uh, general election in Nigeria. Now let's go down to what uh, Iwanyamu is saying. The President General of Ohanes and Dib Worldwide, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyamu, has spoken passionately and uh, philosophically on the violence rocking parts of the Southeast. He wants a solution that will be devoid of further killings. This is as the Ohanes and Dib Worldwide vow to use non kinetic approach to resolve security challenge in the Southeast region by appealing to people causing bloodshed to embrace peace. Disclose this during a world conference it organized to announce the program for September 29th Igbo Day celebration on Saturday in Enugu. Iwanan who described the killings and bloodshed in the southeast as strange, said as a father, I am tired of the death of my children and they have given me the responsibility to lead them. According to him, each time I hear anybody killed, I feel sad because most of them are doing what they are doing because of hunger and unemployment. I am not saying that hunger and unemployment will make one to be a criminal, but not everyone has capacity to endure hunger. The President General maintained that security of every place in Nigeria was the collective responsibility of everyone, pointing out that the federal government alone could not handle it. He said that during the Igbo Day celebration, he would announce the non kinetic approach to end insecurity in the zone. As a father, I will call and appeal to everybody to embrace peace, and the non kinetic approach requires everybody's support, both state and the federal government, for us to have peace in the Southeast. Whatever sacrifice to bring non kinetic approach to bring an end to bloodshed and killing in Igbo land, I will do it. I am going to reach these people by any means to beg them or even give or even give my life if they want it. I will surrender it to ensure peace reigns in the region, the Igbo leader said. He said he will send a delegation to Finland 
and other places to make those causing bloodshed in the southeast. We are not going to arrest or kill them. I don't want to kill any of our children. We are going to appeal to them to tell us what they want us to do. Those who are hungry, we will find them something to do to keep them happier. But letting of bloodshed and killing should stop. It is not easy to stop a hungry person who has found means of getting livelihood through gunshots as a father. I will go and cry to them, and I am praying, God, that this my approach work out well, he said. He added that he would also resolve all the political crises among the polit political leaders in the zone by reconciling them to move the region forward. The Igbo leader appealed to the federal government to assist the zone with the reconstruction of railways, creation of seaports, and more international airports to ease their businesses. The issue of sharing rice as palliative does not have any means to, to any Igbo man, but what you can do for him is to give him opportunity to make a living for himself, he said. Uh, my people, when I don't hear, I see they happen. I, I think um, uh, this is the first time uh, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyang is making a good point. I, I think um, the, the only means to solve violence is by dialogue. I, I think uh, if Iwanyang uh, will be able to work in synergy with the governors in the southeastern part of Nigeria, and thereby reaching out also to the federal uh, federal government, the president of Nigeria, and also reaching out to people like Mazen Nikano and Mazen Simon Eba, and also meeting demand of the indigenous people of Biafra, because I think that the first demand is that um, the Mazen Nikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, should be released from the DSS detention. So if if uh, if uh, these people will be able to do these things. I think um, there is hope uh, for a better Igbo land and also for a better Biafra and also for a better nation. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first. We will collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.